Hi there, I'm Chef Celeste and welcome to my Louisiana kitchen where I'll take you all around Louisiana through food. And on today's episode, we are talking sweet potatoes. We're gonna make some candy yams with my Louisiana sweet potatoes. So first off with that, let's go through our ingredients. Uh, we have sweet potatoes. We have some vanilla going in. I have some dark brown sugar. I have some regular granulated sugar that's going in there. I have a little bit of water, almost a cup of water that's gonna go in there also. But I'm gonna also add the juice of one orange in there. So um, to get started with that, first thing I wanna do, let me cut through my orange and I'm just gonna squeeze that right in here into the water. I'm gonna put all my liquids in here together. And you can actually save the rest of this here. You can finish juicing that out or um, just eat it. I mean, it's still good. It just doesn't have as much juice to drip all down on you. All right, so we're gonna add that, sit that right there. I'm gonna take my vanilla. This is gonna be a teaspoon of vanilla. This is pure vanilla. You don't need a lot of that. Um, and um, I prefer to use the actual pure extract of anything we're using as opposed to um, imitation. This smells so wonderful in here right now and it is just water, orange juice, and vanilla extract. So now, on the sweet potato, this is one large sweet potato and this will serve right at about four people because you don't wanna overeat. Um, I'm gonna take the ends off. You can use a vegetable peeler if you like. I don't use vegetable peelers because I always end up cutting myself with that. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife and use it as the peeler. And the only thing I'm gonna do is just go all the way around the sides with this. So uh, once I get that going, and then I'm just gonna cut it up into some large chunks. But remember, when you're making your um, candy yams, you can add pecans in here if you like. You can add um, just about anything. You can top it off with marshmallows once it's almost completed cooking. So again, learn the basics and then you embellish from there and you take my recipes and turn them into your recipes. So that's what I like for people to do. You don't have to use this as, uh, as like the Bible or anything like that. This is a guide. A recipe is a guide to um, point you in the right direction of getting from point A to point B in creating a dish, okay? So, what I want you to do as you get more comfortable with your cooking, send me some photos. You can find me on Instagram at Chef Celeste Gill or Facebook under the same name. You can um, also Chef Celeste Bistro. So send me some photos of your work. I like to see that, I like to see the progress of, um, I'm gonna say my students, you can be one of them too. So um, if you're following this recipe, then we'll say you are. So that's what I wanna do. Just let me see what you're working with. So I'm gonna finish uh, doing this here. You see it doesn't take long to do it this way either. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees. Everything does not have to cook at 350. So I'm doing 375 right now. Take this, go down the middle. Then we're gonna quarter it. Okay, nice and simple. It's not rocket science or anything like that. These are just good old sweet Louisiana sweet potatoes. We have some good rich soil down there. So these things grow plentiful and they're nice, sweet, and delicious. You can use sweet potatoes in a lot of different recipes. We're gonna add some butter in here also. I forgot I have my butter sitting right there too. You don't have to add the butter if you don't want it in there. A lot of my cooking, um, I don't actually use butter. But some things, I'm going back to tradition. And growing up, um, my mother, grandmother, um, we put butter in our candy yams. So this is about a third of a cup of brown sugar, the dark brown sugar. This is the same in granulated sugar. Now I, I'm gonna stir this in real quick and then I'm gonna add my liquid. And then I want you to see what is gonna set mine apart from everything else. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon in here. One, two. 
and the rest of that cinnamon is not going to go to waste. So now let's add the liquid in. This is smelling so good. So now this is going to go in the oven, but I'm going to bake it in this ramekin right here. All of it may not fit, so I'll probably use two. Um, you can put this in a nine by nine casserole dish, uh, but you would probably need to double this recipe right here for the nine by nine um, or just something smaller, whatever you have, go ahead and use that. And then I didn't forget the butter, that's gonna be dotted on top. So I want you to see what we're gonna do with the butter. Okay, put my sweet potatoes in right here. Get a little bit more. All right, and then this one will go in the second one. Let me take my butter here and we're gonna place the butter throughout. So that way butter is hitting a little bit of everywhere, but we are gonna give this a toss midway through. So this is gonna go in the oven. It's gonna take about a half an hour to cook at this size. If you're using the full nine by nine, it'll take about 45 minutes to possibly an hour for that to cook. But let's pop this in the oven and when we come back, we're gonna make two things. We're gonna saute our um, smoked pork chop to go along with that. And I'm also gonna make a smashed potato and bok choy side to go with it as well. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we have the sweet potatoes in the oven at 375. Now we're gonna start on our um, pork chops and our sides. So we're gonna do the sides first. Um, and, and my reasoning behind that is, again, everybody does not eat meat, you know, and that's okay. So when you're cooking, I don't want you to stress out about, well, what am I gonna do for my meatless folks? You're gonna do this right here. We're gonna make sure that everything is separate so that way everybody can enjoy the food. So in here, I have a little bit of sesame oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, it doesn't matter. Um, whichever one you like, that's what you use. So now I'm gonna add in my onions. And this is on a medium heat again. I'm not going for a saute or anything. So let me turn this back on because I just kicked that off. There we go. I've already split the bok choy open because as with any of your, um, your root vegetables or anything, there's gonna be some dirt in between there. So you need to get that all out of there. Let me show you. Like right in here, if you look down in there, you'll see it has the dirt in there. You have to clean that out. Okay, so let's get that. The bok choy is just gonna have like a rough chop on it because I wanna retain some of the length on it. Pretty much all the length, I really do. And do I have to do that? No, but again, this is the look that I'm going for with this particular dish. So sit this in here. And to that, I'm gonna add some of my Creole garlic seasoning. And I'm also gonna add some um, celery salt in here. Give you a different profile here. So that's the celery salt. We're gonna put two pinches in here. And be careful with that. Now, if you notice, I'm not adding any extra salt in here. So let's give three shakes of the Creole garlic. That might've been more than three, but I like Creole garlic. So let that go for a minute. And I'm actually gonna turn that up a, a slight bit. Now let's take our potatoes. These potatoes have been pre-cooked. So your potatoes don't worry about, you know, what am I gonna do with my leftovers? Let me show you what you're gonna do with your leftovers. You're gonna take these, take a spatula, and just kind of smash it down a little bit, just like that. Okay, we're gonna do all of these, and then uh, once the bok choy and onions have cooked a little bit, I'm gonna put that down on the bottom. And this is something, you know, I enjoy coming up with different ways of eating the same item. So you just, you know, be creative with your cooking. Come up with something different. This, you can add cheese on top of here and roast them in the oven. You know, sprinkle them with a little bit of salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, pop these in the oven, and you have a delicious snack to go uh, with just about anything. So let's shake this around, give that a little, I'm gonna toss it over in a second. 
I don't want to shake over here on the pan because it may go everywhere. Not really. But I don't want you shaking either, like tossing in the pan. Unless you really know what you're doing, then you can go, go for it. Now, let's get these in. So we're going to have some nice mashed potato medallions to go along with everything else that we're going to have. And you see how the bok choy is starting to cook up a little bit here for me and wilt down? That's what I want right there. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to sit it on top of the potatoes. I'm going to take my onions and move that around a bit also. And you can cook them down a little more if you like, but I like a bite to my food. So don't overcook your food. You can retain some of the nutrients in there when you, um, when you don't overcook. So again, this is nice and simple. So now we're going to switch sides over here and we're going to start working on the um, pork chops. Now, folks, again, this is real time. So this tells you how simple this is to cook. The thing that takes the longest is what you start first, and that's gonna be your sweet potatoes. So they're in the oven right now. So I have still a little bit of the oil in there. These are two pork chops. These are smoked pork chops from the farmer's market. And what I like about these, it already has the flavor built in for me. So I don't have to worry about doing a whole lot of seasoning or anything. So I'm gonna add some pepper. So we're gonna put a little bit of cracked black pepper on there, freshly ground pepper rather. That may be a lot to some. Put on here what you can tolerate, okay? And we're just gonna let this go. You see that simmer on here? You see that simmer on here on the bok choy? So the one thing that we're just gonna wait on is our sweet potatoes. So we're gonna let this go for a few minutes. When we come back, I'm gonna show you what these sweet potatoes are looking like and we're gonna plate everything up and enjoy. We'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna show you two plates right now. And again, pay attention to time and ease. This one here is gonna be my meatless plate. I'm putting down my regular potatoes and yes, you're gonna have potatoes two ways. We have our smashed potatoes on here as well as my star, our Louisiana sweet potatoes. We got our candy yams going on here. The candy yams right here. You see that syrup down on the bottom here. You don't have to use butter in here if you choose not to. Put that on here, get a little bit more of that syrup that's cooking down in here. Okay, I like this one. Let me sit that right there for you. Now, we're gonna move over to my next one. My sweet potatoes right here. And you see how that uh, one potato goes a long way. It really does. Because I don't want you to sit here and eat this entire thing of sweet potatoes by yourself. It is delicious, yes, but we wanna share some. Now, I'm not gonna put potatoes on this plate here because I don't want potatoes on this plate here. Now, let me go for my pork chop. So I'm gonna put the pork chop right here. I'm gonna layer that on there right there, just like that. And then, let me get a little more. Look at that. Get some of that juice from that pork chop going down on there. A couple of onions going on here. Some of y'all are looking to see if I was going to put my hand in here after I touch that pork chop, but no, I'm not. That right there. Put you right here. Get my caramelized onion on top. And candy yams, Louisiana style, with Louisiana sweet potatoes. We have smoked pork chops from Catrere's, and we have some sauteed bok choy here. So the thing that I'm going to taste you know are these sweet potatoes here so let me go in on this here again i'm chef celeste you can find me on instagram or facebook at chef celeste gill so um check me out like share follow cookbook is coming soon in the next few months so you want to hit that follow button so talk to you later